a partnership. Um, I also have a few names who would like to speak. We're going to start off with uh, David Tallon. Come on up. As most of you know, I'm a next door neighbor here. I live in one of those white houses right over behind the basketball courts. And I tell all the kids in this neighborhood that this is my backyard, but I allow them to play in my backyard. Once in a while, I actually get some to believe me. But a few years ago, I told that to a six-year-old boy who just moved into the neighborhood. And the next day, I'm walking down the street, and I see him there with his father. And I see him go running over to his father and pointing at me, and go saying, that's the man who owns the playground, it's his backyard. And I see the father lean over and whisper into the little boy's ear, and then he comes running across the street over to me. He says, my father said to ask you, why don't you clean up your backyard? <laughs> Usually I'm never at a loss for words, but I don't remember what my answer was to that. But if that happened again today, I could just point to everything that's right here and I'd have a good answer. I want to thank the Parks Department for what they've been able to do with actually a very small amount of money. As some of you know, the Parks Department had $85,000 to do this project. It sounds like a lot, but it really is not. Uh, there's other playgrounds in the city that have gotten two, three, many more times the amount of money on that. and got a lot, of, a lot less to show for it. I know the other day I was over at new playground next to the Carnivale School on Hartford Avenue. They had like only one little contraption there. They spent 165000 And I was asking the consulman, well, when are they putting in the rest? He says, no, that's it. That's all we got. And Wendy and her crew, Joe Watnowski and Jimmy Raccio and the rest of the Parks Department crew did a lot of the work that's here in-house. And they saved money uh, from paying outrageous amounts to contractors. And for $85,000, they'll be able to get everything that you see here, which is really kind of unheard of. And Wendy and the rest of her crew deserve a lot of credit for that. Now, not that we wouldn't like more. I mean, there are other things we asked for that there wasn't enough money to go for. And we'll be asking for that in the future, because that's what we do here in this neighborhood. But that's for a later time. Right now, we really want to thank you for the exceptional work way beyond the call of duty that you did to uh, bring us to this point today, Wendy.